What's going on everyone? A quick video here to share with all of you on how you can enable the TPM 2.0 module on your Windows PC or maybe your laptop to meet the Windows 11 system requirements. So Windows 11 is just around the corner and I was taking a look at my computer, ran the tests on it here to see if it was compatible with the Windows PC health checker thing. And to my surprising, I got this message back, TPM is not detected. Now that doesn't necessarily mean your computer does not have TPM 2.0. I would say if any of you folks watching have built your system System, or you even purchased a new computer at a retail location in the last three to four years or so, you should have this option available, but understand that most of them are shipping, the boards are coming with this option disabled. So even if you purchase one or you built one, it's probably disabled in the BIOS UEFI. And I'm gonna show you how I went in and enabled mine and maybe that'll help you out. And then actually fixed my problem and this message went away and it was 100% compatible. So there's two other spots real quick I wanna show you folks where I. I went and took a look at some stuff. Down here in the lower left corner, I right clicked on that little window and went to the run command here and I typed in tpm.msc, okay? And I clicked okay. And that'll bring up the trusted platform module management on local computer. And what's important here is the message. It says compatible TPM cannot be found, okay? So cannot be found on this computer. Verify it has 1.2 or later, or it is turned on in the BIOS. That is where my issue is lying right now. If I go back to this little window and go to settings and I'm going to go to update and security and then over here on the left where it says windows security, I'm going to click that and then over here on the right side, click device security. Once I enable it, we'll see something new in here, a new title. Right now it says standard hardware security not supported. Unless you have a super old system and you know it's beyond five years old and even, even then it might work, but if it's really old, you probably won't have this available. Now, if you have a desktop Desktop or a laptop, all you need to know is which key to press on the keyboard to get into the BIOS slash UEFI. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and just simply shut down my computer, but it needs to be completely powered off. So during the reboot process, right now my computer is starting up. And when it first comes to that first screen, I'll show you down at the bottom, there's gonna be some stuff. And it says right here, right in the side, press delete to run BIOS setup. Now, in order to get into the BIOS, you need to actually be pressing the key that yours tells you to press prior to this screen. I know right now my computer's off, so I'm gonna start pressing my delete key repeatedly. Now yours might be the F1 key, the escape key. It could be the F10 key. That gets me into my system BIOS just like this. Now, some of you may have different looking BIOS screens than this. You're looking for something like, basically go into your settings, like I'm gonna do on this particular MSI board, and you wanna go to something, if, it, if you can find a tab in there called security, and then I click on security, and then the first one here, it says trusted computing. If I click on that, mine sits right in here. Mine says security device support disabled, TPM device selections PTT. So if it's already selected for PTT. I know that I have an Intel. It may it may be different for some of you who have AMD systems, but this part here that says disabled, I'm going to go ahead and click enable. You do have other options here. And for, again, depending on what system you guys have, you probably will be just fine leaving it at the default selection. PTT is just fine. Platform, trusted technology, or whatever it stands for. I'm going to leave this enabled. What I'm going to do now is basically go to click X, but you need to make sure you get a pop-up message here and it says save configuration you want to make sure you choose yes okay and once you save it your system should reboot like normal i'm going to start by going down to the lower left corner to the little window i'm going to go ahead and right click on that and click run and i'm going to run the trusted platform module.msc again and we're going to go ahead and click ok and now we're going to take a look and see what it says in there tpm is ready for use that's looking good that's looking a little better i'm going to go into settings once you get into the settings go into update and security then over here where it says windows security go into that go over on the right here to device security and now what we should see is something new in here and we do remember before i showed you underneath core isolation it says things weren't compatible now it says security processor and it says the trusted platform module is providing additional encryption for your device so we could actually click on that and then you will see now that the spec version of the tpm is 2.0 status ready, all that good stuff. So information about the trusted platform module. So let's check right now, check now and see what comes back. This PC meets Windows 11 requirements, great news. So I could click see all results. Now you can see this PC supports secure boot, TPM 2.0 is 
enabled on this PC and on down the list. So I have 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, my computer has 14 cores, whatever. Uh, everything on my computer I knew was up to date. I knew that there was an issue somewhere. Maybe this video will be helpful to some of you and avoid causing you to go out and think you need to purchase a brand new computer because of something not being enabled. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, hit the like button and share it. And good luck with your Windows 11 install because I'll have a bunch of videos coming on that probably as well. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next one.